everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to talk to you about my Drama Studio London audition experience. So I applied for Drama Studio on UCAS because they're affiliated with um, a university, I can't remember which one, but um, that's how you apply, through UCAS. And um, then they send you an email to say what date they've given you and they also call you up and um, ask if it's okay and then a week or so before your audition um, they just ask for you to call up and confirm that you're actually attending the audition. I don't know why they do that, maybe it's just easier for them with their admin and stuff um, but I believe they're the only drama school that does that. Um, so on the day of my audition I travelled there by train, got on the tube and then walked a few minutes down the road to get to the school. Um, it was pre pretty straightforward to get there, um, use Google Maps or City Mapper and pretty easy really. Um, when I got there I was super early, <laughs> as I always am, and so they just showed me where the toilets were, showed me where the common room was and that was where everybody was going to meet. Um, so I just like prepped myself and um, got into the zone sort of and waited for everyone else to um, come in really and they also gave us little name tags um, and separated us into two groups uh, a red and a black group and um, I can't remember what group I was in yeah they separated us into two groups so that when we were auditioning we would be in two separate panels um, doing the warm-ups um, separately and the audition separately as well. Um, I think in the workshop sort of um, warm-up uh, start of the day they're still auditioning you and seeing how you work and how good you are at that improv sort of thing. Um, so once we got separated into the two groups, I was in a group um, with a man and a lady on the panel. First of all they told us about the course, it was very much um, questions and answers sort of thing as well and we went around the room to say um, your name and why you've auditioned at Drama Studio and a fun fact about yourself I think. Then we went and did a really quick warm-up. It was a lot of um, stretching and um, walking around the space, getting to know the space and interacting with others as well as like an improv game. There's quite a few improv games. Um, one was about animals and you had to choose an animal that reflected one of your characters or something and you'd have to slowly become the animal and then slowly get out of the animal into your human self and then um, uh, pretend that you were the animal um, being hunted and then pretend that you were the animal hunting something else. Um, they probably wanted to see your imagination and guess how your body like evolves into something else. Um, and then we did another improvisation about being a waiter, so they tried to get us to do two types of um, waiters or waitresses. Um, so number one was either you're going to be a really uh, posh waiter, like one in a really prestigious restaurant, and um, then the next time you'd have to be on the other level of the scale um, and be quite lower class and maybe in like a um, little cafe sort of thing. Um, so that was the first portion of the day and then we went on to do one of our speeches. You could choose either your modern or your contemporary, no, your modern or your classical and um, I chose my classical and um, I think I did pretty well, I don't know, I just, it's really hard to tell whether you did it well or not, it just either goes the way you plan it to or you just do something completely different and um, 
aren't really sure <laughs> how it goes. Um, and then after that, they went out of the room and um, we had to wait for a few minutes um, so that they could talk through like who they liked and their feedback. And then they came in and um, gave us all some feedback, which quite a few places don't actually do, which I found really helpful. But at the same time, my feedback wasn't that helpful for me personally, but everyone else's feedback seemed to be good for them. I don't know, it was a bit strange because um, I did my classical and then when he came back to give me my feedback, he said, just don't do that speech because it's quite overdone. And I realised that um, it's on the central list and it's on Italia Conti's list, but yes, it is done quite often by a lot of people because it's a great speech and as well as because it's on the list but I feel like with most Shakespeare monologues most of them are already done anyway because Shakespeare has a number of plays that he has written and um, certain monologues that are just done quite often and you can't really pick a new speech that no one has ever done before because Shakespeare isn't alive today to write more for us. Um, so I don't know whether that that feedback was really that helpful because that's all he said. He said, just don't do that speech. Or he didn't say whether it was good or bad or um, things that I needed to change or think about. It was just just don't do it. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit weird. Um, but then he said um, also to everyone um, whether they got into the second stage or not because at drama studio um, they have the different stages all in one day unless um, you don't have a speech and they just want to see you again some other day with a different speech. Um, so it's a bit harsh I think that they say it to you whilst everyone else is in the room as well because um, they just go um, Nicole yeah we didn't re really think that you should have chosen that speech um, but you've got in to the second stage anyway okay and then like Simon that sort of thing it just goes very um, straightforward and like fact like um, so yeah I got into the second stage and um, between the first stage and second stage we had lunch which was really nice of them to give us that time um, and then we came back and we went to see a different panel which um, was the panel that this other group had first. We did our two speeches to them so I did my classical and modern with them. Um, they would either say that was Good, that's all we wanted to see or they would uh, redirect you. Um, they redirected me and it was quite fast paced in the way that they did it I think um, but it was good that we could see everyone else's speeches and the contrasting speeches. We also did some uh, scripted work, um, some acting with text and so we got into a few groups, got given about 10-15 minutes to um, go through it and sort of set it up and um, it was either in pairs or in a group of three and I was in a group of three I think we did pretty well and we got on quite well as well um, so yeah that's what they gave us and um, we showed them the pieces and then they said okay right we're ready for the interview stages so um, this is the list of people will interview in order and if your interview in it is in like an hour or two then um, you can just go get a coffee or something and um, I was third so I just waited in the uh, school and they were really nice um, I, I sort of knew whether I got in or not based on the interview and like what they told me in um, their comments and um, ways to improve. Main things that they said to me was um, they wished that my speeches contrasted a bit more um, 
and I need to work on my voice, which I know I do. Um, I have quite a high register, I think. At the moment, my voice is so weird in this video, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I need to work on my diaphragm and the strength of my voice a lot more. Um, and they <laughs> were talking about singing in the car and um, maybe trying an instrument, like a recorder or something. Um, and yeah, that was about it. And they asked me um, where else I have applied. They asked um, what I was doing at the moment, um, the basic sort of thing. And yeah, it was pretty chilled, informal interview. I really enjoyed my um, audition there. Some of the comments were a bit strange and I didn't know how to um, approach them, like the first one about um, doing a different speech, which I totally get, but at the same time, I feel like I need to choose what's best for me. And um, I enjoyed that speech, I loved doing it. And um, I sort of weighed out um, the whole that's overdone sort of thing into like, I really like that speech and I actually really want to do it. Um, so I didn't get into drama studio, but um, I feel like the whole audition process was really helpful, especially the fact that they give you feedback on the day. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry my voice has gone so croaky right now. Um, I hope this is really helpful for you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.